All right, so I'm editing right now, and I actually just found out that there's a word for this, and it's called black trauma porn. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moji and for those of you guys who are new to my channel, on my channel I basically make opinion based videos and I just talk about my opinion and I tell you guys what I'm thinking about certain topics and I also make a couple of booktube videos just because I really love reading and I decided to incorporate both of those things into my channel because that's me. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about the movie that I just watched all day and a night. I did not like it. I really didn't like it. I'm going to be talking about that movie and I'm also going to be talking about urban movies and how I just feel like urban movies. I love old 90s urban movies but at this point like can we make some new movies? Does it have to be slavery and like hood? Can we just do something else? Like why does it always have to be the same repetitive narrative? Like I'm sick and tired of it. So I'm going to be talking about that and I'm going to be talking giving like a little review on all day and a night. Um let's get into it because i have a lot of things to say in this on this topic in so general. first of all i didn't like the movie i'm gonna tell you guys why i didn't like the movie so let's start off with the fact that it was super slow paced like the movie was like two hours and it took like four hours for me to watch it um it was just i kept pausing and it was just super slow paced and then it just wasn't going anywhere personally i didn't expect anything from the movie because i wasn't really expecting anything from the movie it just sounded like another like stereotypical urban black hood movie and i wasn't really expecting much from it just because i don't feel like today we make really good hood movies if we're being honest i feel like in the 90s like menace to society boys in the hood like they really did it back then but at this point like we can make different movies we don't have to keep making the same generic stereotypical black hood movies like we can do other things at this point but it was super slow paced like it took me like four hours to watch a two hour movie why did it take me so long it was just super it was like i was watching a nigerian movie like it was just so long and nigerian movies are definitely more interesting than this movie but it was super slow paced. I feel like the movie would have been better off if it was a short film instead of being a two hour movie. Secondly, it was extremely stereotypical and it was just like a stereotypical hood urban film that everyone has seen before. We've all seen this type of movie before. The only thing that was probably different about this movie is the fact that he was like a rapper. Um, the third thing, the acting. I was so bored, like... I was bored it was just no and the the only reason that i feel like i can talk about this about this type of movie is just because we've seen other type of movies like this and i have other things to compare it to so it's not like this is the first time that this type of movie was made and like i'm saying these things just because i don't like it but there's other movies that are like urban films that have been made before and i can talk about it and i can compare it but this movie was just not good the fourth thing that i want to say is like the movie wanted to be deep so bad that like there was no plot to it like what was happening you know like there was nothing really going on and it just wanted to be stereotypical to the point where there just wasn't a plot anymore and like it was just i didn't know what was happening and it was just like void and long and just ugh. it would have been really better off as a short film to be honest so now i'm gonna be talking about urban movies in general and hood movies and stuff like that there's so many movies about the hood and there's so many urban movie, urban films that like me saying this really isn't going to impact anything because there's so many movies being made and you shouldn't want to make a movie like this. You should want to make a movie that black people are being represented differently in a more positive way because there's other uh, spaces that we can fill up. There's other roles that black people can have. It's not only like gangster movies and like stuff like that. Like, so if I'm saying this in a defense of people, I don't see why you're offended because why would you want black people to be res represented, as, represented as gangsters? Why wouldn't you want us to be represented as something more positive, like doctors, lawyers, something that can inspire people to get out of their circumstances? Like for example, a movie, a show that really had an impact on me growing up was Scandal. And I know this really weird to say but like honestly seeing olivia pope like do her thing and she was just so successful when i was younger i wanted to be olivia pope 
I still do just a little bit but Olivia Pope was really like a big impact for me and that's when I realized that representation representation really does matter for people that are younger and for people that are my age to see themselves in like positions of power so keep, when you keep showing the same narrative of, of gangsters and just like hood movies I don't feel like it's having a positive impact on people because I know these movies are probably geared towards white people so that like white people can finally wake up and see that they're the, the oppressors but at this point I don't even feel like it's doing the same job that it's supposed to be doing which is to like wake up the oppressors is they're not going to understand it unless they're living in black people's shoes what we should be focusing on is not like trying to make other people understand us we should be focusing on um raising younger people so they can see themselves in positions of power but that's not even like I kind of completely went off but that's not what I was trying to say but it's still a good point we're like making these movies so other people can see us in the, what we are does that really make sense but we should be focusing on um uh, younger people seeing themselves represented in a more positive way and not like showing white people like gangster films so they can understand this like i'm sick and tired of the same narrative of hood movies and i don't like want to see it anymore so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is how it's a stereotype for black communities. So these type of movies, basically what they help to do is to make like a kind of narrative of how black people, they're poor, they're ghetto, they live in the hood, they live in poverty, they have to commit crimes to get money, they can't get jobs. And I know that's the case for certain people, but it's not like every black person in the United States or every black person well, maybe these movies are mainly about the United States so it's not like every black person in the United States is poor and in poverty and they can't get jobs and I feel like it just has a negative it's just a bad narrative for other people to see us that way and it's always people that black people that make these type of movies and like I get it you want to show other people how black people are living and you also want to make like a voice for black people so they can express themselves in their circumstances but the thing about these movies is they're not like positive for anyone it's not helping black people because it's not like when a white person sees this movie they're gonna go in the hood and they're gonna help white black people so it's not like a positive thing to show oppressors is because they're gonna think that black people that's all that we know and it's not a positive thing for black people because it's like you're giving them a voice but like are you actually helping them like the money that you're making from this movie are you gonna go to the communities and help them no you're just making this movie for profit it's exploiting the plight of black people for your own benefit and it's not helping black people and it's not helping the oppressors help black people so i just feel like the movie is just movies like this at this point in 2020 we don't need to be making gangster films we don't need to be making urban movies we need to be making movies that are going to help like that are gonna represent black people in a positive way that are gonna make want to make younger black girls become doctors lawyers entrepreneurs they're just gonna make um younger black girls or younger black boys want to become something successful in life so there's other movies that have been made in the past menace to society boys in the hood paid in full south central in too deep um set it off i hate that movie by the way i cried and i'm never watching that shit ever again <laughs> I really hated that movie. I thought it was a good movie. I cried. I'm never watching Set It Off ever again. But there's so many old hood urban films that have been made in the past that showcased like, the realities of the hood. And I feel like at the Top Boy, even though that's UK, Top Boy is really important. I love that show. But there's just so many other shows that are out there that have shown that. And like at this point, like can we like make other movies that are representing black people in a more positive way like you can't say that like it's a good thing to keep making these movies because at this point we've seen it so many times that like we know what's happening now we just need solutions to the problems that we have like making this movie is not a solution because we know what the hell is going on the second thing that i wanted to talk about is that these movies it make it seem it makes it seem like these are the only stories that black people have to tell and this has to go with um, slavery movies and hood movies. So those are the two main type of movies that you see about black people. Like, I'm tired of seeing slave movies. Like, goddamn. Like, I get it. You have the power to make a film that should be empowering to black young people. Why do you keep making the same generic slavery film? Like, we get it. I don't even know like just something that isn't like slavery or like urban films and also like maybe like a coming of age movie about a teenage black girl you know I'd really like to see a coming of age movie about a 17 year old black girl maybe a virgin suicides but with black girls actually yeah I would actually watch that I don't know like something 
Assassination Nation with black girls. Um, the Click with black girls. Mean Girls with black girls. Well, not like only rebranding those movies, but like just coming of age movies with black girls. I'd really like to see it. Hollywood. So the next point that I wanted to make is that other countries, this is what they see when they look at black people. If there's not a lot of black, other countries that don't have a lot of black people in their countries, they're going to look up these type of movies and they're going to see that this is what black people have to offer that's the only thing that they're gonna see from black people there's no like positive representation and that's where like racism and, and stereotypes are are born from can you say born from that's where stereotypes come from stereotypes and racism that's where it comes from because that's the only thing that they're gonna think that we have to offer this point is that um it kind of ties into what i just said but it's kind of like People are going to think that this is the global experience, the global experience of the black experience. So like everyone is going to think that that's how black people are and not all black people live in the hood. Like there's other black people that are very successful and have never, I don't want to say have never lived in the hood, but have never really had that experience as well. So it's kind of speaking for them. The movies, these type of movies, they kind of have the power to speak for all black people and it's not the case. Like the reason that these type of movies have the power to speak for all black people is because there, there's no other movies that are like representing black people that are not from the hood that are in suburban areas so it's like you have these movies that kind of speak for all black people so if there were other movies that fought the narrative of um black people only being from the hood i would be fine with urban movies because there's other things that i can watch but like if i'm constantly being force fed the idea of like urban movies and stuff like that like obviously i want to see something different but if i had a good balance of both i would be fine with watching urban movies that are new but like at this point i want to see something that's new that i haven't seen before about black people i'm sick and tired of seeing the same like ghetto shit like it's annoying because these movies they don't speak for everyone so yeah that was kind of like my rant about urban films um that's kind of what i had to say about the subject i'm kind of over it at this point i'll still watch old ones because the old ones are good and i feel like the new urban films what they're trying to do is kind of like copy the old ones and make them just as deep but like you're never gonna be menace to society you're never gonna be boys in the hood like those movies are classics that cannot be remade so you trying to remake it is just fake just try to make something new something that's your own like stop trying to make and recreate the same like effect that these classical urban films are gonna have on people they're never gonna have the same effect because those are classics and you're making a, a, all day and a night like i don't want to see that shit we're in 2020 make a coming of age film but yeah that's all i had to say about the subject if you guys have something else to say about the subject make sure to comment down below if you guys don't agree comment down below if you do agree comment down below and make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video